here at our nation's border under National Mountain, the site of the Black Brigade terrorist attack in 86. If you don't remember, hundreds died that day when a brigade truck carrying explosive devices crashed into the mountain, triggering its peak to collapse. In two months, on the same day as the nation's election, in the same spot where I'm standing, the 10-year commemoration honoring the victims Stand will take place. Give us all your darn money, bitch! Yeah, all your darn money! Robbery in progress. All cars in the area respond immediately. Unit 2 here, on my way. Over. President Tyrak, the man who built the border wall behind me, protecting our nation, will be there. Protecting our nation? Ha! Huh. This event promises to be a solemn moment, and a time to celebrate the announcement of our next president. Ugh, total BS. Of course, I'll be there live, giving you the real story as it unfolds. This has been GNN Sonia Sanchez reporting live. Taxi. Then just north it is. Now sit back and enjoy your ride with Happy Taxi. Customer, I'm sorry for the mess. Your very understand. He left that behind too. Your very understanding. Not a lot gets by you, I can tell. By the way, everything I'm telling you is the truth. We're called Happy Taxi, but we could be called Honest Taxi, too. Maybe you have some questions about the road. I can help you with those. You don't want to get tired on the road. That's when they, the cops I mean, find you. So I smoke. I smoke a lot. <sighs> now sit back and stay seated. Enjoy your ride with Happy Taxi. No. Sorry, I didn't. I'm going to turn the music up now. Do you like dinosaurs? Say something. Oh, I see. Oh no, I think I have a flat tire. Better take a look. Sit tight, okay? 
Much further, I should let you know that I have some anger management issues. Now you know. So, where are we headed today with Happy Taxi? Then just north it is. We sell scratch tickets if you're feeling lucky. Good luck. Sit back and enjoy your ride with Happy Taxi. Let's see who's contacting me now. The Sonya Show! How do they get this number? Just a second. Damn. Piece of no good son of a... I'm feeling much better now. Go on and ask me a question if you want to. I know all kinds of things. Hmm. You could say I'm not a fan. I see. I saw you looking at my mags. Are you a fan of dinosaurs? I won't get angry if you aren't. Good. Speaking of dinos, have you seen this movie that came out? Gigantic Park. Hmm. I don't know if I believe you. Hey. Lean forward. I want to show you something. That's a portable VCR. Now I can watch tapes whenever I want. When GP comes out on VHS in Petria, I'll watch it every day. My daughter would have loved Gigantic Park. But she passed away. Well, bad things happen sometimes, but I'll make it right. And in the meantime, I won't think about that terrible thing that happened to her. I'd become very angry if I did. No, you should take a snooze. You're a teen and your brain is still developing.
trouble. Happens a lot. Sorry about that. I heard a noise earlier. Like screaming. What was that? You're not lying, are you? The VCR is warm. You watched one of my cassettes. Which cassette did you watch? One is very private to me. Oh, I see. That'll explain the screaming all right. It's pretty hardcore. We've almost reached your destination. I hope you'll consider riding with Happy Taxi again. yet. Found those easily, didn't you? I knew that was your van. Now we're gonna play a little game. It's called Hot and Cold. I used to play it with my daughter. Tick-tock. The game has started. Call! You're on fire! <laughs> That's a good brigade. Now, I have a surprise for you. You like surprises, right? 
grabbed a can. Don't look at that. It's private. Good. Now, put gas on everything in the van. Everything! We're gonna watch it burn! That's the surprise! Get your tapes and snacks here. Tapes and snacks. All I know is, these politicians, they're not like you and me. It's a different societal class altogether. We're nothing but ants to them.
one of them, huh? Then you need this more than I do. Good luck to you. Would you? Take a break, Joe. You seem pissed off. I am. I hire a bartender, and he fails to show on the first day. Any chance you want to fill in for me? I already have one awful job. I don't need another. Wanna make some money? Goddamn right. Hear that? We got ourselves a teen bartender. Couldn't be worse than you. Screw you, Debbie. Okay, kid. The key to bartending is never losing your cool. While be in the kitchen scrubbing dishes, the dishwasher didn't show either. The world is full of degenerates. Motherland spirits. Uh, my motherland spirit. One tyrant brew. Thanks. Hey, kid, a nation potion and make it snappy. So, where's my tyrant brew? Yes, it I'll doesn't leave you look a like tip. you're making my nation potion. A glass of General Guzzle. I want my nation What's potion. with my General Thanks. Guzzle? Here's a tip. Go buy yourself some diamonds. One tyrant brew. I want my General Guzzle. Thanks, here's a tip. So? Where's my tyrant brew? One Heartland refreshment, please. Yes, I'll leave you a tip. I guess you've never made a Heartland refreshment before, have you? A glass of General Guzzle. Thanks. Here's a tip. Go buy yourself some diapers. What's with my General Guzzle? Thanks, here's a tip. Yes, I'll leave you a tip. Hey, kid, a nation potion. I make it snappy. Thanks. Here's a tip. Go buy yourself some diapers. Hey! Hey, you! Hey! A shot of Homeland! The usual. The Jared. It's on the wall. Thank you. 
strange. My bartender looks like a kid. But here, you deserve this. Now, make me another. Jack is still the preferred candidate. Another day, another team caught trying to leave our country in Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia Hello, Sonia Country here. Welcome to the TV. Ten-year commemoration for the victims of the attack is coming up. My daughter was one of the poor souls who died under those rocks. Well, bad things happen sometimes, don't they? Oh, finally done with the dishes, kid. Jesus, these people are disgusting. Anyway, thanks for the help. Here's a meal on the house. Jared, I didn't see you there. Kid, uh, you should go. It's uh, getting late. Kid, your burger! God damn, it's been a lousy day. Lost my credit card, too. Another round, Jared? Yeah, last round, Joe. I did. And how does that make you feel? You shouldn't try to cross, kid. Bad things happen at the wall. In just a few days, the nation will honor the victims of 86 and elect its new president. When historians look back on this September 9th, many will consider it the most important day ever in the history of Petria. It's perfect. The entire country will be watching. I agree. The time to act is now. Intelligence says the brigades will try something, Mr. President. If they do, I'll crush them once and for all. Of course, I'll be here all day, reporting live at the scene. This has been Sonia Sanchez for GNN. And cut! You do her hair, is that it? I don't do her hair. Don't be offended. We think her hair is great. Look, Sonya's not seeing anyone right now, all right? Hi, kid. This guy won't let us see Sonya. He thinks we're fans. Aren't we, Stan? We're... we're more than that. We're her biggest fans. Nice one, Stan. Yeah, yeah you heard the kid. Move along, or I'll move you myself. That goes for you two also. 
Come on, Mitch. We made the hairstylist upset. We'll talk to Sonia later. Oh, are you crying, Sonia? A girl. Dad here. In 86. her name. I, I, I tried. I tried to save her. But, but the rocks, they, they kept coming. It's just, sometimes, I wish I had died. And she lived. Oh, Sonia. Mitch, behind the rocks. You see what I'm seeing? Uh-huh. Come on! Stop right there! You again. Wait, where's the other one? Mitch, the beast! <laughs> what the? Woohoo! We got him, Mitch! We got the would-be killer! Woohoo! these two s &M guys? No, them. They're the big brothers! Hi, Sonia. Oh, hi, Sonia. You two come here and give me a hug. No! Uh, right away, yeah. ma'am. On our way. It's so good to see you two. It's been too long. want to rain on your family reunion, but who's got? Not a problem. We'll be here on the election day, if he comes back. Yeah, we'll be here. Stan! Aw, oh, Mitch. Oh, I'm sorry I've been so distant. I hope you can forgive me. Don't worry about it, Sonia. Yeah, don't worry. We're, we're a family. Aw, oh, you guys are the best. Give me another hug. That leaves just the brigade. Time to cut the head off the snake. haven't you? That's not very nice. I'm scaring you, aren't I? Sorry. Follow me. I want to show you something. Impressive, isn't it? 
It's not like one. It is one. You know, you remind me of someone. Never mind. The brigades used to live here. In fact, this is where they planned the attack in 86. The brigade set off an explosion at the wall, killing hundreds. Tyrak found it after the attack. Those still here were arrested, and many were never heard from again. Go on. Take a look around. That's what they called the radio tree. They used it to make their radio broadcasts. You're looking at what allowed them to recruit their members. That's what I wanted to show you. I... I think we should break it. I said we should break it. Come on. to smoke after therapy. I'll be there. It's a very important day. You. Hmm. I don't like big crowds either. Well, they took Lola is why. Lola was my daughter. The brigades took her away from me. She was just 16 when she joined them. Her biology teacher, Bob Winters, recruited her. She always liked Bob. Hmm. I'm saving him for last. Never mind. Today's a day for healing. Mm. She was. When the day came for the attack in 86, they sent her and some other members to the wall. The detonation didn't go as planned, I guess, and she was buried beneath the rocks. She wanted to be a paleontologist, someone who studies dinosaurs. She knew everything about them there was to know. Their names, what they ate, everything. It's a tribute to my beautiful daughter, Lola. This was a mistake. It didn't help. None of it. Destroying the tree. Talking. Talking. It only made things worse. You should run. Run.
Hello, I'm Steve, owner of the Paradise Motel, where just one night will forever change your life. Now, there are rumors of a serial killer in the area, but that's just what those are, rumors. A rumor started by our rival Supreme Motel. They're just jealous of our jacuzzi. I think Flores has a shot, but Tyrek and his people will do everything they can to intimidate voters. Sleeping on cardboard. I couldn't have that. No. Personally, I find it cozy in here. Just you and me. Together. Don't worry. I just need your help. With a little problem. Uh-oh. Could be a cop. They're patrolling motels looking for missing teens. Teens like you. Just do what I say and nothing bad will happen. You can trust me. Get in the closet and don't make a sound. Not even a peep. Oh, hi Steve. The ice machine is down. Oh no, well, bye. I feel that I am in paradise. Well, bye. Of course, I'll try the jacuzzi. Well, bye. The best night's sleep I've had in ages. Well, bye. I really like the room's abstract painting. Well, bye. Actually, I didn't know paradise could be this nice. Well, bye. It is like paradise. Well, bye. Oh, you found my little problem. Good. So, yeah, I need your help with that. He, uh... Let's give our little friend here a nice, hot bath. He could use some cleaning up, don't you think? Hmm, I see what you mean. Oh, no. I forgot the soap. No, you don't know what kind of soap is best. Get the cop into the tub. And don't try to escape. I'll know if you do.
the bathroom now. It's gonna get pretty steamy. This might take a while. She's very dirty. Did I hear knocking? Open the door. And keep your mouth shut. Or you'll take a bath too. One more thing. Oh, is Jared here? Does he have enough towels? Jared goes for a lot of towels. Oh, okay then. So, there's nothing I can help Jared with. Phew, what a relief. Oh, I see Jared's watching the boob tube. Is the reception to Jared's liking? Oh, okay, good. Well, tell me if Jared needs more channels. that smell? You guys grilling in there? Fine, but you don't have to be rude about it. Close call. Steve's not a connect the dots kind of guy. Yeah. Here, for helping me with my little problem. Now go. Is everything okay? Oh, hi, Jared. Now Steve is dead, and it's all your fault. Oh, I see. I won't get angry if you aren't. Not this time, anyway. Bye, kid. And as a reminder, never stop to pick up hitchhikers, young or old. They could be dangerous. And that's today's Sonia Show. Thanks for tuning in.
all my cigarettes are wet. roads, up and down. I'm starting to think they'll never quit. They want to put a stop to me. I can't let that happen. That's why I'm out here in the rain and not in my cab. They're close. They're too close. I think they're fans of hers. Twisted. Hey, something's wrong with your doors. some cheering up. So that's what you're gonna do. Cheer me up. I just want to have a little chat. So go on. Chat. You don't want to get tired on the road. That's when they, the cops I meet, find you. So I smoke. I smoke a lot. You're already starting to bore me. Guess it's my turn to ask the questions. I'll tell you something else. I've been thinking about killing you. So better give me the right answers. Tell me, do you listen to the news often? Bet you were listening just before you picked me up. Tell me something else, and this is important. What do you think about Sonia Sanchez? That's how I feel. You're not just saying that, are you? Mm, good. Sonia did something bad. I don't want your sympathy. No. All I want is revenge. Who else? Have you been listening to a word I've said? Because of Sonia, my sweet daughter is dead. She'll pay for that. She'll pay dearly. I think you know that already. 
Just not the when and where. Like those two freaks after me. She did I move a finger to save her under those rocks. Not one, nor did those brigades. They'll pay too. Stop the car. I've decided what I'm gonna do to you. I'm going to let you live. But you're going to give me your car. I can drop you off somewhere if you'd like. It is raining. I'm sure, but don't ask me again. I guess you don't remember me. We met at a gas station. I got arrested. You too, I think. We're in a holding cell near the border. They brought you in last night. They beat you. That's why. But it should come back soon. Ugh, oh, too long. I just want to get it over with. Getting transferred to the pits. You know, that's where crosses end up, isn't it? Ah, ah, get your hands off me! Your friend's been chosen for a new treatment. We'll turn him into a good teenager yet.
Sonia here, live at the border on Election Day. Where events have quickly turned into a heated protest. Fires are spreading as rioters in high numbers have gathered at the wall. The tension is rising. Got a new hat, Jared? transfer in this look at this man this is crazy it's happening the babies will save us i know what are they doing they know we're in here right stop that get your hands up stop what was that a prison van has just been flipped over go go get him out Everybody, to the wall! Where the hell is Robert? Big John, did you see Alex? You saw Alex? Where is he? At the wall. Kid, come with me. I gotta find some more. This way, young blood! Truck. We'd worked too hard to come up empty-handed, but we missed, and Tyrak detonated the explosives on the peak. And my parents were killed. Yes, and Connie, and so many others that day. Why didn't you tell me this sooner, John? I thought it'd radicalize you, push you to build the bomb, and I didn't want you to hate me. Then I should activate this bomb. To do what my parents couldn't. They wouldn't have wanted you to die for this, Alex. Believe me. Alex won't listen to me. Can you talk to him? Please, young blood. Talk to him, young blood. Anyway, what do you care? John doesn't know anything. Nothing he'll tell me anyways. They loved you, Alex. They loved you more than the world. You hear me? <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> They're gone. And I never got to know them. I know it is. But if you activate this bomb, You'll be taking someone else's parents away. I guess... I guess you're right. There. I disarmed it. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Come on, let's... Don't move! Hands up and turn around. Slowly. Hands up, I said! Mom! Don't shoot! Alex? Your mom's a cop? Get out of here, Alex. That voice. Wait, Papa Bear? Oh, no. You know each other? 
Yeah. Turns out I've been chatting on the CB with the very person I was after. Well, it's not great for me either. The woman I love being a cop and everything. <laughs> love. Yeah. Love. Ha! Don't make me laugh. Listen, I'm sorry I stood you up. I chickened out. You think I care about that now? My mom and Mr. Ursus? We're gonna go on a date? My mind is gonna explode. Alex, I told you, get out of here! Listen to your mom. So, how do you know each other again? I did some work for the brigades, for info on my bio parents. John knew them. Yeah, right. It's the truth. My girlfriend and I were friends with Alex's parents. Your girlfriend? She died in 86. I've been trying to protect Alex. You gotta believe me. Mom, I did everything on my own. John didn't force me. You gotta believe him. He's a criminal, Alex. He, they, almost killed me, twice. I didn't want them to attack, I swear to you. But I've made some terrible decisions. Now the day goes by that I don't regret them. Ah, uh, boo-hoo. So what am I supposed to do, let you go? Is that it? Well, I can't. I'm a police officer. Please, Mom, lower your gun. Get out of here, Alex. Stop! Get away from him! John! <laughs> on the other side of the wall have broken through and are now fighting the border forces with the brigade. Could this be it? Is the revolution really happening? Good time to go, sir. The revolution started that day, lasted for three more weeks. It spread to much of Petria, but did not prove successful in overthrowing Tyrak. Tyrak won the election and repealed the law limiting the number of possible presidential terms. And in the years that followed, my country became even more oppressive. If only more citizens had committed themselves to change, Petria might now be a much different place. <laughs>